a good segment. She made waves with a book on raising children the Chinese way. And now the tiger mother and her husband are out with a new book. It's called The Triple Package, The Three Unlikely Traits That Explain the Rise and Fall of Cultural Groups in America. Amy Chua and Jed Rubenfeld, both are professors at Yale Law School. They are no slouches themselves. Good to have you both here. Um, I want to jump right in. Uh, th this new book uh, basically says that certain ethnic groups are outperforming other groups in this country, and it's got a lot of people riled up. Amy, who are these groups and why are they so successful? At the moment, and I want to stress, it's a snapshot of who's successful now. They're right. not you know, permanently better, but we look at Mormons, Jews, Chinese Americans, Iranian Americans, Lebanese Americans, uh, Nigerians, Cubans, and there are dozens more. But we are saying, look, they are hitting it out of the park. Can we not look at what they're doing, how they're raising the children, and is there anything we can learn? You know, how are they rising? I mean, in this they, tough economy. You know, they, these are groups that are newer to, to the country. And, I, and we were saying before we started talking, you know, they're, they're the Irish immigrants and Italian immigrants of the turn of the century who had an intense hunger to succeed in this country, right? It's just that hunger that we're talking about. Yeah. And we're trying to figure out what we looked at all these groups. It's a remarkable thing, tough economy. Jobs are hard to come by. And yet some groups are hitting it out of the ballpark. And, and, and our point is, let's look at them. Let's look at the families, let's look at the cultures, let's see what's going on, see how they do it because we can learn from it. Yeah, you know, in your first book, Amy, it was almost like you were trying to make sure that those traits stayed in your kids. You know, they, they have successful parents, they've been in the country for a while, and, and those, that hunger that you were raised with, that you wanted to keep it in them. And it is hard. It is, it hard. is hard. A huge feature of this book is about generational decline. Yeah. As soon as you are a little bit successful and you, you know, you're more comfortable, it's hard to instill that hunger in your kids. And, you know, it's, it's uh, this need to prove yourself. That's what these first two qualities that we talk about generate, the need to prove yourself. That's the opposite of being entitled. So one thing is, you know, how are these groups raising kids that are, in a way, still have that hunger to, to strive, I guess. And, and it's, so it's really about a work ethic, too, right, Jed? I mean, how, how do you instill that work ethic in your kids? And what lessons are you learning from these cultural groups in how they do it? So we looked at these groups that are doing so well, and we found that they were united by a surprising combination of three qualities, which actually are open to anyone. Many people not from these groups have them, but all these groups have them and instill them in their, their kids. And the three uh, qualities are, one, a sense of being really exceptional. Each one of these groups tells its kids that they're part of something special, they're exceptional. And you can get that, by the way, not from a group, but from many other different sources. The second is almost the opposite, a sense of, we call it insecurity, but it's basically an idea that you know, you're not good enough yet. So you're part of something special, but you're not good enough yet. You have to prove yourself. You have to have that hunger. You have to have that drive. And the third quality we call impulse control, the ability to resist temptation and be disciplined. Right. So you're good, but you're not good enough yet. Uh, and if you want to get really good, you're going to have to stay focused and, and disciplined. Right. You know, it, it's a really interesting uh, thing to think about, and, and I, I give you guys a lot of credit uh, for writing this book. I know you've taken some heat uh, for it, and it's good to have both of you here, Amy and Jed. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank good you. Luck. Thank good you. Luck.